What is up guys? Prodigy here. And it's that time of the week again where I can go ahead and show you guys where Zer, aka the dude with the hairy face is located and what items he has to offer and the opinions that I have regarding the items he's selling if you should buy it or you shouldn't buy it. So starting off with the bottom, no heavy ammo. I don't understand why they're not selling heavy ammo. Maybe because they're patching the whole heavy ammo glitch and they don't want to sell us something that might not work after the patch. Could be the reason. But then you have telemetries. If you don't know about telemetries, these help you level up your weapons while using them. So you have scout rifle telemetry, you have hand cannon telemetry, and you have fusion rifle telemetries. From here, we're going to jump into the motherfucking icebreaker. I'm telling you. If you don't have this weapon, do whatever you gotta do to get it. If you don't have a really good exotic or you're needing an exotic, this is a good one to start off with. It has nice impact, has nice fire rate, has unlimited ammo. Every, I think, three seconds or five seconds that is, it regens one bullet. So you never have to reload this weapon. It'll always have ammo as long as you can wait a few seconds. And it's definitely worth the strange coins. Going from the Icebreaker to the Titan Helmet, coming from a guy that has three Titan and all he plays is three Titans, I would never recommend this helmet. If you know me, I use Striker for PvP, Defender for PvE. This is a Striker helmet and I would never use this helmet over Armamentrum. I'd rather have my two grenades and use that for PvP over this helmet. Next off, we have some Hunter gear. This one lets you revive teammates faster, carry more special ammo, and carry more hand cannon ammo. From here, you got the Warlock. We have revive teammates faster, increase melee attack, and replenishes health when you pick up an orb. I guess this helmet would be good for hard mode proto if you're one of the people that can't stay alive or you keep losing a lot of health. So when you pick up an orb, this will heal you so you don't have to have a weapon that heals you. Other than that, we don't have no gambling exotics, uh, Engram. Normally, I like to buy seven of these or eight of these, whatever. I have mode of light and just gamble them and see what I get. But other than that, this is really it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you can, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.